In May 1991, Baltimore celebrated the 116th running of the Preakness, the second leg of the Triple Crown in American Thoroughbred Horse Racing. One of the exciting events that kicked off the celebration was the 1991 Preakness Balloon Race, which began on May the 9th and was sponsored by the First National Bank of Maryland. In addition to the balloon races, Crown Central Petroleum sponsored a spectacular balloon moon glow on Saturday night. We greatly appreciate the participation of all the sponsors who helped make these balloon races very successful. Come along with us now as we capture some of the highlights of this event. Twenty-seven pilots registered, and we had over 150 volunteers for balloon crews. All right, for those of you that don't know, my name is Bob Corey. I'm going to be your balloon meister, and welcome to the Maryland Preakness race. I'd like to introduce the staff. Dan Sherrill's the organizer, and those that don't know Dan, he's organized several races before, put on some pretty successful ones. And we have Dick Goss, who's our weather officer, safety officer, Larry McQueenie, and balloon meister assistant, registration, master of all trades. Beth, where are you? Met us back in the forum. Most of you met her last night. Can you get in? We have registration, pilot packs, and if you also need help, Cheryl Seaman. Okay. Is that the door score? Gray Lansky. We don't have any red areas that we know of. Bruce, is there anything specifically that you might want to mention to us? Everything to the north of Oregon Ridge is all horse <coughs> country, and they don't like balloons in there. I would suggest that you try to find something that's not thoroughbred horses to land on. Uh, obviously, you're going to take whatever you get. Ballooning is an early morning sport, with pilots and crew arriving before sunup to unpack and begin setting up the balloons. Weather plays a critical factor, and Friday began with a heavy fog. This morning's event primarily for the benefit of the media here in the immediate Baltimore area. Hats off to the folks from uh, CFB, all of you pioneers out there. We appreciate you being with us and look forward to seeing you throughout the weekend as we kick off the Maryland Preakness Celebration 91. All balloon events, of course, are weather permitting. As you can tell this morning, the weather is still not quite good enough to allow us to fly, but we are optimistic that within the next half hour there may be some changes. Tomorrow morning, our first competition flight, sponsored by First National Bank of Maryland, will be launching from Druid Hill Park. And then tomorrow night, we'll be back here for the uh, Crown Central Petroleum 
balloon glow. That will take place here in this site tomorrow night from 4 until 10 o'clock. Wait a minute, Dan. We found what we need down over here. Oh, okay. We're looking for the balloons going up. And then Sunday morning, we fly again from this park. So tomorrow morning, Druid Hill Park at about 6.30 in the morning. Tomorrow night and Sunday morning, right back here where we are. We have had some spectacular balloons here with us this year. We have pilots from all across the United States. All The weather finally cleared and a number of pilots took off. Balloonists launch a small balloon to determine wind direction and speed and pilots track it by using a compass. reports that he is uh, right on top of a horse farm where he's at there so please uh, maintain your altitude to be aware of the livestock on the ground the black truck you see leaving below is a chase vehicle used by the crew to follow their balloon Pilots and crews stay in touch using two-way radios. I can't tell exactly where land is. White House on the road there, like now. Engineers. Pilots attempt to contact the owners on whose property they landed. <laughs> I ran a cord with a dog on his legs and I don't think anybody followed. <laughs> Following each flight, the pilots refuel their propane tanks. Larry's been the safety officer. What does that really entail, Larry? Well, we take care of the propane and make sure the, all the pilots are refueled 
after each flight. Uh, we walk around the field to make sure uh, people aren't smoking around the balloons. And when the balloons do launch, we make sure they launch in an orderly and safe fashion. The Marriott Hunt Valley Inn was a sponsor and served as headquarters for the balloon races. As Friday afternoon was free, balloonists took advantage to see Baltimore's sights such as the Inner Harbor area. Preparations were being made nearby for the broadcast of Friday evening's Preakness Parade. and volunteers began arriving early for Saturday morning's race. Pilots are briefed on weather, flight conditions and event rules. Each pilot is issued a numbered baggie which is used for scoring. It takes an experienced staff to plan and execute a successful race. Two-way radios are used by the staff to keep events running smoothly. Each of these balloons cost about fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. They carry an average about seventy-seven to maybe a hundred thousand cubic feet of air inside them. These balloons are uh, officially registered aircraft with the FAA, just like uh, the jetliners that fly in and out of the Baltimore area all the time. Our pilots are also licensed by the FAA. This is not. Uh, something that we do strictly for fun. All of our pilots are professional pilots. They do it as a hobby, some of them do it as a business, but they are licensed. Now you can see the uh, cooler balloon, ladies and gentlemen, up against the trees there, the bright green balloon. In a moment you'll see the, uh, the white cool logo on the side. And as uh, soon as Bob has the balloon up and hot, and we get word that he's ready to go, we'll give the mayor the microphone and we'll start this morning's balloon race. Again, the object of the race this morning, very simple. Bob Corey in the cool balloon will be the first off. He'll fly away. As soon as he has uh, gotten his balloon hot inflated, the other balloons will then begin to inflate. Bob will fly away. The other balloons will wait about five minutes, then go off in chase of him. The object is for them to fly to a target, which Bob will be carrying. Drop a marker on that target. It's kind of like playing darts from the air. As they fly by, they have a small bean bag. They drop it and try to get it as close to the center of the X or the center of the target as possible. The pilot who is closest, of course, is the winner of the race. Z, we're still searching for you so you can get your balloon ride, and if you don't come up here soon, we're going to put the mayor in your spot. No, I'm just kidding. We do have a spot for you. And again, coming up immediately after this morning's balloon launch, our children's fair will get underway. Of course, all of this brought to you by the First National Bank of Maryland. The First National Bank of Maryland is offering quality banking services that have exceeded the expected since 1806. The process, very simply, once the balloon is attached to its basket, we crank up our gasoline-powered fans, fill the balloon with cold air, then light the propane burners and fill and heat the air inside. That allows the balloon to stand up and eventually go flying. Key bottle from Kentucky. Your captain of the balloon is Captain Mike Kirk. The uh, old style Kentucky whiskey. And for those of you who are interested in having a party tonight, that balloon would hold 2,527,788 liters of smooth Kentucky whiskey. Mayor Smoke, Mayor. 
on this beautiful day. Ladies and gentlemen, let the race begin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Bob Arnold, race hockey by the first time to make a barrel of the dinner for the school. We'll look at a momentary delay, and our race is on. the coolest high level of the sea, Bob Corey. Then, ladies and gentlemen, you see Bob Corey just dropping overboard one leg of the car next. That is to signify to the other pilots that he is the hair blue. The blue is to be fixed this morning. Then, ladies and gentlemen, some of our other sponsors that are here and taking part this weekend will tell you about them as their balloons fly. Among them, of course, is WPOC FM 93, the country music station of the year. Baltimore's country music station is proud to be an official 1991 Maryland Preakness celebration sponsor. And we're... after the balloons left the field. By First National Bank of Maryland. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. We hope you enjoyed the balloon flight, and uh, please stay around as the Children's Fair now just getting underway. We invite you to take part in that throughout the morning, and then join us again tomorrow night, or tonight, and tomorrow morning. The balloons continued their flight over Baltimore, chasing the hare. The hound balloons flew onto the beautiful Maryland countryside. Drop off the target and scorekeepers. Yeah, go up and turn left and you'll see the hair balloon up there about three miles up on your right. The hound balloons jockeyed for a good shot at the target. Uh, at this point we'll just go on across here and see if we can find the landing site fairly quick.
condensation. You're not gonna come back anytime. Certainly. Certainly enjoying the area. <laughs> Other than that, sit back and enjoy it. Following this Saturday morning flight, some of the ballooners took the time to take up volunteers for a short flight. Folks, that we'd like to thank as well. Crown Central Petroleum for the balloon blow. A nice round of applause for them, featuring 25 balloons tonight that you're going to be seeing about 8:15 tonight. And also, we'd like to thank uh, ourselves, WPOC, and, and not not Diane and myself, but uh, again, Sheila Silverstein, the entire staff of the radio station, put a lot of time into it here. From Lookout Mountain, Georgia. Warner Brothers recording artist, the Forrester Sisters. <laughs> Tonight, our Crown Petroleum Moon Glow, and we're very pleased to have Crown Petroleum as a sponsor this evening. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this year's Moon Glow, sponsored by Crown Petroleum. And there is your Crown Petroleum Balloon, Mr. Nick Stanko. And now, all of our other pilots, I think, are free to get inflated. There you see what it's all about, but trust me, it gets better. I'm with Sandra Cuneo, the Executive Director for the Preakness Celebration. And we're at the Crown Petroleum Moon Glow in Oregon Park, in Baltimore, Maryland. You can tell us, Sandra, um, a little bit about the event. Well, this is the first time we've had a moon glow in Baltimore, and we've got 25 balloons. It's sponsored by Crown Petroleum, a local gas company, and we're absolutely thrilled. As you can see behind me, there's an absolutely enormous crowd, and uh, we got hot air all night. I understand you've got quite a few sponsors for the event. We do. We have one title sponsor for the balloon glow. We have also balloon race, where we have another title sponsor, and we've got 18 sponsored balloons out of 25, and we're just thrilled. That is super. How do you think that the uh, balloon race has impacted the Preakness celebrations? Oh, I think it makes the Preakness celebration. Uh, it is an event that has been around for 17 years. Um, we are trying to expand it, make it bigger and better, and make it one of the biggest uh, balloon races on the East Coast. And uh, I think it's one of the most important events, the Preakness celebration. And every year, tens of thousands of people look forward to it. We get a lot of calls, and we're just hoping it gets bigger and better. Great. Have you had any feedback on the uh, fly by this morning over oh, Baltimore? Oh, yes. People saw it from their cars. Tens of thousands of people saw it up on Druid Hill, and they were absolutely thrilled. They thought, couldn't believe we had perfect weather, and uh, those balloons were absolutely gorgeous. Have you yourself been up in a balloon? No, I have not. I'm getting a ride tomorrow night. I, oh. I'm acrophobic, but I'm Good. prepared to go because I've been <laughs> hanging around them long enough. Well, super. Well, thank you very much, Sandra, for spending some time with us. Thank you so much. We'll get all the balloons to light up at the same time, simultaneously, as Mike said. Come on, guys! Each together, one and all. So, photographers, get your cameras ready. We'll do that in just a few more minutes. right.
Petroleum Moon Glow. Jim Schiller, here in the area. I'm really enjoying the show you put on this one. Uh, it's one point one, another competition, and uh, that will determine the final winner in the standing. I'm visiting with Glenn Moyer, who is the announcer for the 1991 balloon race at the Preakness celebration. And we've got balloons in the background, and I want to, Glenn to tell us a little bit about what he does. I think I'm really the only professional balloon announcer that I'm aware of, certainly in the United States and perhaps uh, internationally. I do about 15 events a year. And my job is kind of a, a combination of Howard Cosell and um, um, John Madden, I guess. I, I have to do play-by-play. -play. That is, I try to keep people, spectators, aware of what's going on in the field. I also kind of do uh, some color announcing, meaning I know a lot of these pilots, so I sort of tell funny stories about them and things that we've shared in the past. And really, it's just uh, my role is to add entertainment and sort of an ambiance to the event for the spectators, educate them a little bit about ballooning and, and entertain them at the same time. I understand you're a balloonist yourself. Yes, I am. I have my own balloon. I'm a balloon pilot, and I'm also uh, get a plug in here, editor of Balloon Life magazine, uh, which is uh, the most widely read balloon publication in the world. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, and we'll now look at the balloons in plating. They're just about ready to go, so it looks like we've got a great morning for it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. How are you enjoying the event so far? So far, we're having a great time. There's uh, plenty to do here, and there's lots to see around Baltimore, and we're having a great time here. Sure. Would you come back? Certainly. It's a very interesting balloon, a tuxedo. Yes. Uh, we picked that up just about a month ago, and uh, this is the first festival we got to fly in it, so... And that you are volunteers here at the balloon event. Yeah. Is this the first time you've done anything on balloons? This is my first time with balloons. It's not the first time volunteering though, because I work at the National Aquarium cool. as a volunteer. And uh, this sounds exciting. We're, we're ready for today. And it's just, the balloons are incredible. We're, we just can't wait to see them all go up. He was there last night though and said that the, uh, oh, the nightglow was... That was quite a sight, wasn't it? Beautiful. It was beautiful. That's the first time I've ever seen something like that. It was beautiful. Yeah. 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 Balloons on television before, but never, never <laughs> up close. They're beautiful. So you think that you're going to be hooked now? Oh, I enjoy it, yeah. That's why I'm up here at 5, <laughs> five o'clock in the morning. 5.30, whatever it is. This is Dan Sherrill, who is the organizer for the whole event here. And how do you think it's going so far, Dan? We've had a great weekend. Um, We've flown every flight. Weather conditions have been perfect. We've had terrific crowds. We couldn't ask for more. We're extremely pleased. You've had a really good turnout. Oh, it's super. You know, this is the first Sunday morning they've flown here, and, and the, the cars are still streaming in. That is great. All right, well, we will catch you later, and All right. thank you so much. we got to get these balloons launched. All right. Bob Corley, who is the balloon master for the event, and uh, how's it going, Bob? Oh, super. We've had uh, several beautiful days of weather. We should have this should be our third and final day. Everything's shaping up uh, real good. Uh, it's uh, very fortunate here in Baltimore. It's a nice rolling countryside. Uh, beautiful countryside, I think everybody observed yesterday. And Bob is getting ready to uh, leave as the hare in the event for Heron Hounds. Correct. Have a great flight. Hopefully all the hounds are captured too. Thank you. Thank you. Is this your first time to be at a balloon event? No, we started watching the balloons when they were down at Sandy Point State Park. Our so you, race. Ob you obviously enjoy it? Yes, very right. much so. This is his second race. Oh, neat. Yes, just for the camera, what do you think so far of the balloon flight? Oh, I'm, I'm very, very excited. I can't wait. It's so neat to look up to me. I'm so excited.
Some fun, eh? <laughs> Can you flow with him, too? Uh, he would have one square, but unfortunately, the winds of welcome do us all. The sun has blessed you with his warm hand. You have flown so high, so well, that God has joined you in your laughter, and set you gently back in loving arms of Mother Earth. We have a little Mother Earth for you here. That's what we do. <laughs> there you go. I'm a little <laughs> We made it. We had a safe flight. Thank you. You know, Cheers. enjoyable Cheers. one. And I just want to say thank you to everybody. And I want to say you've got to tell Dan and thank you to you. This has been beyond our wildest expectations. It's well, we've enjoyed absolutely it. Absolutely terrific. And you got me in a balloon. You know? Many people well, aren't going to believe this. Till the next one. Till next year or two. Till next year. Welcome to our uh, awards banquet. For those of you who I have not had the opportunity to meet throughout the weekend, my name is Glenn Moyer. I'm, uh, this race for the past 17 years was the best kept secret in Baltimore, and I think we changed that this year. You guys uh, knocked the whole run this morning. First of all, my pleasure to introduce the executive director, the lady who's responsible for everything that happened this weekend, including the good weather and the great flying. And I hope you'll greet it with a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, our executive director, Sandra Cunio. This has been just an extraordinary weekend for all of us, and I just cannot thank each and every person in this room enough for everything you have done. First of all, of course, Dan Sherrill and his team, the Baltimore County and City Parks and Police, my staff, and above all, our sponsors, and I know there are a lot of you out there today. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you, particularly First National Bank of Maryland, Trans Central Petroleum, and the Marriott Hunt Valley Inn. And a really good round of applause for two people. Terry Romanoli, who has been the acting executive director of this for approximately the last 24 hours, and Mary Lou Crane, who have worked like dogs to get this uh, event done and are also, very important, also responsible for the good weather. Hold me. 5.30 this morning and said, uh, you better get out here. We're going to send you up in a balloon. I am terrified of heights. The third floor is a place where I get frightened. Um, and I did it. And it was the most thrilling experience. I understand why all of you want to fly balloons. It was gorgeous. We do have a representative of um, uh, First National Bank of Maryland, Ron Cox, who was with us this morning, and I would like you to give him a really good round of applause because we really want him to come back next year. Yeah. We're pleased to be a part of the event this year, and Sandra and Dan and his crew did a great job, as you all know, and we're really looking forward to even bigger and better things in the next few years. Don't go away. You've heard, of, you've heard of enough of me, now we're going to do awards presentation. But there are two guys who um, put this together. Well, they both did a super job this weekend. I'd like to bring each of them up individually to uh, say a few words to you. Uh, first of all, our balloon meister, Mr. Bob Corey, followed by Dan Sherrill. Our, uh, For those of you that don't fully appreciate this morning, I must say that I alleviated a crew strike. The Crew Chasers Union hit me rather hard last night and requested mowed grass, short flights, and you need to get on the road. So anybody that's questioning the long flight yesterday and the short one today, please thank your crews. They threatened me. <laughs> well, I'd just like to thank all the pilots for being very cooperative during this event, and uh, which was a big part in pleasing the sponsors. And dittos on all of us. The way the scoring ended up, we had 13 finishers, and then we had a host of folks who ended up all combined in 14th place. In fourth place, flying the uh, big flying shoe from famous footwear, Jim Ryan. You know, 
would say, Jim, one step closer. <laughs> Just 10 seconds more, I know, that's what I always say. Would you like to come up and do this? I've got more soul. Oh, okay. In third place, uh, taking home, let me check my notes here, $1,000, and we have some trophies also for a pilot and sponsor, is that correct? Yes, pilot and sponsor. I think the most incredible balloon I've ever seen in the air, and I, and I say that bar none. Ladies and gentlemen from Madison, Wisconsin, right. the Combine Balloon. Thank you. Second place, taking home another nice trophy and fifteen hundred dollars. Last year he became such a well-read pilot that this year he decided he'd better eat better for a living. He used to fly for Chronicle Publications or ECAM, flying the book. This year he's here with uh, Knocker's Restaurant and uh, is probably OD now on uh, buffalo wing sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Schiller. Yeah. This year, as in all years, and in all events, there is a winner. Scoring in both of the contests and taking home $2,500, plus a trophy for uh, himself and his uh, sponsor, flying the red, white, and blue Chevron balloon, Mr. Ed Vandelhoff. to bring me out. Look forward to coming back next year. Hope all of you will too. And uh, a final goodbye from our executive director, uh, Sandra Cunio. He meant it. Goodbye. See you in 92, 93, 94, and hopefully in the year 2000. Thank you all so much. Fun, eh?